Cowboy Jim here. I do these uh, kind of good for the heart stories. They're they're true. No one believes them. <laughs> Junk that has happened to myself, my family. No one no one buys that. I I understand. Um, I'm going to tell you a little, uh, oh, say, justification for my really bad attitude towards abusers of children, women. Oh, I really get pretty pouty when big men try to act like they can exert influence on a short Irish guy. Listen, I'm not very pleasant then. When I was 11 years old, I, I, uh, I was, um, grew up at a place called Wasega Beach on Georgian Bay. And um, I started uh, working in the summer uh, when I was 11. I, I, I worked, I mean, for wages. I had worked in our campground long before that. And um, one of the people that I met, uh, her, her name was Helen. And uh, one of the things that were very interesting for me, I was 11 years old, um, was that I could speak to Helen, but if she were not looking at me, she uh, did not understand what I was saying. And I kind of caught on to that fairly quickly. And uh, so I always made sure I would walk around in front of her and, and I would get her attention and, and I would speak slowly because she seemed to understand better. Now, Helen, uh, she taught me, uh, oh, hey, okay, she taught me how to wash dishes, get over it. And uh, so I washed dishes in this uh, open sort of hamburger bar in an arcade on the main street of Wasega Beach. And um, I grew to respect that lady. Um, she didn't talk quite as clear as clearly as... Um, as, as I thought she, she may well have been able, but she couldn't. Uh, I mean, it was just fact. And I, I learned uh, that she was deaf. And so she read lips. And uh, I, I, I don't know that that enhanced my respect for her, but I want you to know something. It did not take any, way, any of it away. This is going to get bad. I, I have all my YouTube stuff uh, so the kids can't watch it, eh? There's a reason. It's coming up. This is it. This is why I despise abusers. In the fall, uh, only worked, what, 24th of May weekend around to... Uh, September. By then, everybody was so tired, and and uh, all the tourists would leave Wasega, and we only had 300 people in our whole community, uh, men, women, children, and uh, three dogs, and that was a joke. And uh, Helen uh, went home one day. Please take warning, people. Don't don't let your baby children see this. Don't don't you let them hear this. Please. Helen went home one day, long about September, October, and and uh, her her. She got home early. Her husband was there. As she walked towards the li little little cab, and they rented. Um, she saw well the milkman, bread man. No man at all, walking out of her house and. Uh, uh, doing up his pants. Helen had a little baby girl, uh, blue eyes, uh, long blonde hair. I never spoke to her. Well, she never spoke to me. I just thought she was real pretty. Uh, I didn't know she couldn't speak. I didn't know she couldn't hear. Helen walked in and saw that little baby girl adjusting her uh, clothing. Helen's husband, he, uh, oh, he was no man. And uh, he was standing there 
And Helen, she looked at her baby girl and she quickly considered that man walking out of the and she turned to her husband. She hugged her baby girl. She turned to her husband and said, what have you done to our baby girl? And that bastard, he had traded the use of his little baby girl uh, to pay for foods back then that were delivered, milk, bread. Helen, whom I respect, I'm sure she's passed by now. The husband didn't have to say much. Helen, she just looked at her baby girl and then kind of headed over near the kitchen sink. And there on the counter was a butcher knife that was not small. And Helen just kind of gathered it up. It was her baby girl. And, uh, and Helen, uh, she kind of hid that knife as she kind of walked as though she were gonna go past her husband to her baby. But Helen did not go past. Helen put that butcher knife deep into that man's heart. I do not believe he had a heart. I do not believe that evil has a heart. My friend, uh, Helen, killed her husband. I, 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 don't, I don't know, I don't know. I was not allowed at the court case. Shoot, I was allowed. I, 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 I only heard, I, I guarantee you this, there was a member from every family in our community. I don't know if it was my dad or not that told me. I, 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 I was 11. Helen went over, her husband was laying dead on the floor and Helen cradled her daughter in her arms. I guarantee you, Helen never, ever, ever, never knew what was going on. Helen went over and took the phone. I don't know the technology of the day. I don't know. Uh, Helen called the police. And uh, and I don't even know if she knew that, that the police were on the line. But somehow she told them that she had killed her husband and told them where the address was and asked them to please uh, come and pick her up and take care of her little baby girl, 11 years old. So the police came and uh, back then we had what was called justice. Sometimes it seemed a bit harsh. Uh, two days after Helen uh, turned her uh, self into the RCMP, the court case was happening. The judge, good man, I mean a man. And he uh, started the court case off and uh, he said, Helen, Helen was watching real close, couldn't hear. He said, Helen, stand up. She stood up. She had about 42. She had a good heart. And he said, Helen, uh, you've been accused of killing your husband. How do you plead? She said, guilty. The judge said, Helen, I'm gonna ask you again. How do you plead? And Helen said, I killed my husband. The judge said, Helen, can you uh, tell the courtroom why you did kill him? She said, yes. My little girl was 11 years old. And that bastard, I don't know if she used that word. Oh, gee, I don't know, I wasn't there. Oh, dear God, I'm so sorry I wasn't there. And uh, Judge, uh, he told Helen, sit down. Uh, then he started. He made eye contact with every person in that courtroom. 
And when he felt that he was done looking into the eyes of everyone, most of them nodded, and he went on to the next and the next. When he was done, he said, Helen, stand up. He said, you're guilty. She said, yes. He said, I accept your guilty plea. By your own confession, you're guilty. Back then, was about two weeks from the court case until you're hung. The judge uh, Helen, he says, I accept your guilty plea. You indeed are guilty. I am going to sentence you Time served. He said, Helen, you've been in jail for a day and a half, two days away from your baby girl and, 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 and a small baby son. He said, Helen. And he looked again at the courtroom. No dry eyes. None. He said, Helen, you're free to go. He instructed the policeman, you get this woman to her children. You get them out of social services. You take them, you take them back to be with Helen. It was called justice. We don't have justice nowadays. So what? No moral. I'm not gonna spiritualize this. This is too important. My belief systems, they don't mean squat to anyone but me. I just wanted you to know. I don't like abusers. God said, I'll get over it. I'm, a, I'm not a Christian, I'm a believer in the Creator. Jesus said, uh, suffer the little children to come unto me. If you know an abuser, turn them in. Baby children don't need to deal with this. This is terrible. If you are an abuser, you... Listen. If you are an abuser, If you have balls, dear God, I can't imagine that you do, but if you have balls, man up, you fatherless child, you turn yourself in. Hey, Cowboy Jim, eh? Why is that crazy old Irishman so pissy? It's because of life's experiences. Because I, I have seen abuse. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Hey, hey, Jesus said, "Suffer the little children to come unto me." 
another one. Oh, ye who are weary and heavy laden, take my yoke upon you. My burden is light. My heart is also in the corner. I'm a fighter. My heart is in the corner of those baby children who have become adult. I, I, I wrote a love story. It's called The Black-Haired Warrior Woman. About a 12-year-old baby girl sold by her parents to a rich rancher down near High River. Fictional. Heart true. Heart true. And she grew strong. And I mean she grew strong. And she learned of God. Hey, you don't care for God, I don't give a rat's ass. It's, it's, it's your choice. I'm pretty coarse. I'm pretty rugged. Not always nice. Abuser, whoever, you know one, turn him in. Lady, mother of your children, if you think there's a question, you find out if someone has been hurting your baby children. Don't you slough it off. Don't, don't, don't you let it go under the rug. Their lives, your baby's lives, are worth too much. Too much. Okay. Cowboy Jim. You're gonna live till you die. Make your life count. You'll protect a baby child. I don't care what you think of me. You protect a baby child. God bless. You have a good day. Protect a baby child once. Thank you.